For Sylvie Williams, the wound is still fresh, but after months of waiting, she believes she is now one step closer to receiving justice. I'm here at the hospital to collect the DNA result. And um, it's a bittersweet moment. On Wednesday, Sylvie was officially informed by the Ghana police force that the results from the DNA test revealed that it was her brother's body. Initially, I knew that it was him, but I had to wait so long. I became impatient at some point, but you know, I finally know, know that it's him. Fighting to hold back tears, Sylvie told the newsroom how the past few months have been for her. Although I knew that he died, I would still look for him. But you know, people would say that. People who are not in the situation would think that the time has, it's quite long, that it should have been forgotten and you know. It's still fresh in me, you know, when you're among your family members, mm -hmm. everything would tend to die away after a certain time, but because I'm alone, and to be alone going through this, it's quite hard. She's hoping that the judicial system will deliver so that justice can prevail. It's a form of closure on my part, but... I am only hoping now that um, the judiciary, judicial system, you know, do their part. I have no power, you know, to actually say yes, I'm going to get justice and I'm going to take it into my hands. No, it's not that. I'm only hoping that the judi judicial system do their part. And uh, I trust that everything goes well. Williams of Church Road and Moore East Coast Demerara was reported missing in May 2022 and his family had desperately searched for him for more than two weeks. An investigation was launched during which investigators received information that Williams was involved in an accident while exiting a taxi at Enmore and his body was dumped in a trench in the vicinity of the college in Coker. His decomposed body was subsequently found. However, due to the advanced state of decomposition, DNA testing was recommended. Police had arrested taxi driver Daniel Melbourne. However, he maintained his innocence and was released on station bail. But as the investigation progressed, Melbourne was rearrested and within hours, he led detectives to where Williams' body was dumped. Melbourne was later charged with causing the death of Williams by dangerous driving, along with several other offenses, and was remanded to prison. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Sharda Bacchus.